Yeah. Hello, people. I'm Shabby Kuwait, joined by Hope James and a Char Kirk. Hi, bro. We're going to look at Nachiar, the official trailer. It's directed by Bala and stars Joytika GV, and GV Prakash. That was not, you know, fumbly bumbly whatsoever. That was wasn't your best. Totally play. smooth. You got it, man. <laughs> <laughs> that's a cool logo. Whoa. Oh, that's really cool. Oh, I like that logo a lot. Oh, hey, girl. <laughs> Whoa. We don't have subtitles, by the way. And then. Ah, oh, she's so cool. She's badass. Oh god. Oh no. god. Oh no. <laughs> that cop is fired. She's a good cop or a bad cop. I don't know what this girl has to do with the main story. I don't know. I feel like something bad's gonna happen to her. Oh, no. Huh? What the heck was that? This is like some Grand Theft Auto V stuff. Wow. Okay. Whoa. Well, that was disturbing, but it was interesting. Obviously, we didn't have the subtitles for like that little bit of dialogue, but I'm just wondering whether that female cop, if she's supposed to be good or bad, I'm kind of getting messed up in my head because oftentimes in the movies, women are portrayed generally as being good, right? As a protagonist. As, yeah, as a protagonist, you yeah. know? And so I'm like, okay, is she supposed to be the protagonist or is she a bad person. She is a she's, bad person and the protagonist, it looks like. So an anti-hero. She's an anti-hero. She's like, yeah. she does, she, she, you know, grabs you by the throat yeah. and doesn't let go until she gets the answers that she wants. And if you, she doesn't get the answers that she wants, she'll cut your balls off. Yeah, I it, know. It looks like that kind of wow. serious. It's like she had the mouth open thing and she had some torture devices. I'm like, oh, okay, so. I would not mess with her. Yeah, this is, uh, this is someone that is serious. That's really so. different. That's that's a very different take. If she offers you a piece of chocolate. I you, say no. You say well, yes. yes. Oh, you take the chocolate. You take the chocolate. You take the chocolate and you say you love the chocolate. Even if it tastes like bathroom tile, you <laughs> eat it and you say it's lovely. <laughs> How'd you feel about it? Uh -huh. <laughs> In a good way or a bad way? Uh, it, it looks good, but I will not watch it. More, well, that's honest. <laughs> I would check it out. Only I because it's too scary for me. I thought you liked the scary stuff. I do like the scary stuff. I like the scary stuff that doesn't deal with pain. Okay, so you're like not you're gory, not gory. Like, I don't think this is go it. I don't think this is gonna be gory though. Oh. I think that this is more off screen type of okay. old school American type of it is only violence. violence. Right, but it's not something you see. Like, did you ever watch? Uh, did you ever watch the movie Snatch? Mm -hmm. All the violence in that movie, it's like it's in your head, but you don't actually see it. It's more psychological and like mm -hmm. it hits you right, inside, yeah. as opposed to being assaulted with something gory. I feel like this is going to be more psychological, which I actually appreciate, and it's always more effective, in my opinion. It's amazing how she's able to personify that character so mm. well. Like, she's so believable as this kind of hard woman. Yeah, mm -hmm. My whole thing is this. I, Men are in charge of most things, right? And so in my head, in order for a woman to get into that game and take over something, she has to employ masculine... Oh, you have to be more aggressive. Yeah, yeah. you gotta be more aggressive and, and have masculine uh, traits or whatever to dominate the situation and, and show you mean business. And you have to go hard first or yeah. else they don't take you seriously. Exactly. Yeah. And, and so she's... She is uh, exuding a lot of masculine qualities, which is great. Yeah. And it's like you... You take that seriously. It, it feels realistic, like, yeah, I wouldn't mess with her, and I can see why other people wouldn't mess with her, because she's scary. Like, she genuinely has this kind of threatening presence about her. It's a very masculine presence, and I don't mean that in a negative way whatsoever. I mean that in a very positive way. Not that you have to be a man to be a boss, but no. it's just, I'm just saying, like... It's just it, kind of the way of the world, isn't it? Yes. Especially in that environment, which yes. is a very heavily male-dominated environment. Exactly. To be taken seriously, exactly. you have to be, like... 
more. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. It's almost yeah. like you have to be more manly than a man, which yeah. is crazy. She's like, oh, yeah, I can be manlike. You want to see me be manlike? Boom! Here's your teeth. <laughs> like, you know what I'm saying? Like, she's she's more scary than most men I see on film. Yeah. But that's what I'm trying to say. She means business. Even her little thing on the couch where she's just saying that she's... Doesn't want, yeah. doesn't want, doesn't want some, so like, powerful. Yeah. yeah. So. We're not Indian, she so maybe great. this maybe it's overacting up the wazoo. No, and we just she's can't tell. Great. But like for us as Americans, she's great. Not you, but us as Americans, and then this one over here. That's it. I'm just joking. I'm just joking. Okay, I'm just joking. Okay, you guys, thanks so much for hanging out with us. Please check out Hope James and Achara Kirk on the social media. If you haven't already, subscribe to the channel. Check out our other reactions, reviews, and short films. I'm Jabby Koi. This is James Hope and Kirk Achara. Uh, peace out. Out. Peace. <laughs> <laughs>